The one and only Xylophony here for Pokemon Fight Club, the type tournament. We are here with the final four. All of the preliminary round is done and we've chosen the best four battlers. Somehow, I've managed to get into the finals with Grass type, which I'm extremely excited about in a competition where Bug, Fire, Flying, Dragon were in. But we did it. <sighs> we did it. Now, there's good news and bad news. Good news, I'm here. Bad news is two of the four people in this, so two of the three people I have to fight, are fire and flying. Now, as we've deciphered through our calculations in our brain, I think we can take fire. I don't think we can take flying. But the other one's normal, so hopefully we go up against Mario. Now, I, we already randomized, and I don't go up against Mario, unfortunately. We're going up against fire type. So we have a chance. And honestly... I think it's I think it's a good chance cuz I have a plan. I'm going all mad scientist on this one. You guys think stealth rocks is the way to go to bring down fire, to bring down the Charizard and the Volcarona, but no. I got different plots in my brain. So, we're going to run a standard physical septile as we've been doing, give him the earthquake and the rock slide so he gets all that damage out there. He has the power up punch in case he gets a free hit at any time. We have Cradle, you set up the same as always. Rock Tomb, Stealth Rock. We actually haven't built for a physical defense tank. Because on this team, I got a couple semi-special defense tanks. And I'm kind of worried about that Infernape one shot in me. So we got to be careful about that. Uh, we'll get to Brelum in a moment. Shaman, pretty much same as always. We switched out a move for Aromatherapy. And then we got Earth Power, Hidden Power, Rock. I don't think I'll use Aromatherapy, but it's there. Just because I'm probably not going to use any move besides these two. Because all of the team is vulnerable to either rock or ground not both necessarily but either then we have ludicolo you know he can do that rain dance hydro pump he's going to be the only water on our team now between rock and ground we don't really need water but you know ludicolo is ludicolo you don't mess around with ludicolo hidden power rock in case the volcarona comes out because we do not want that volcarona dancing and then we switched out the uh, decidui for roserade now of course the um the Infernape with its fighting moves, it's great to have a ghost type, but Roserade is much better to like counter certain things. We have our hidden power ground because I figured I had enough rock on the team already. And then we have, yeah, that's pretty much all I'm going to use. Choice Scarf Technician Hidden Power. And that's where Roserade's going to come in with the speedy damage. Finish off anything that I would have any problems with. If Volcarona comes out, I can go at that. But then again, Volcarona would be more weak to rock. But no, I chose ground for a reason. Ah, yes, because there is uh, some types that are, like, really weak to ground. And if that Salazzle comes out, we're going to want the ground as well. But now let's get to Breloom. Breloom's where things are going to be a little different. Now, of course, I should Stealth Rock. But I don't want to start with Cradley. Because last time, it was a Stealth Rock, Stealth Rock, blah, blah, blah. And he's going to be expecting that. Stealth Rock crippled his team last time. Like, in the second duel, just in the second battle, just for fun, I, I won because Stealth Rock did so much extra damage. So I'm imagining he's going to do something to stop Stealth Rock, or he's going to have a similar start. Those are really the two main mental options I would see someone going to if they're trying to counter me. So we're not going to lead into that. We are going to start with Breloom Swords Dance. Um, now, there's two reasons why I want to start with Breloom. One, because last time I had a Focus Sash that really did nothing because he got Stealth Rocks up. If he still tries to get Stealth Rocks up, then Focus Sash is once again useless. But if I start with Breloom, then he won't take that initial damage. Therefore, he'll be able to use the Focus Sash and take a hit. Breloom is extremely weak, so any fire hit from any of the Pokemon on the team will one-shot him. Except for the Focus Sash keeping him alive. So, as long as we can, we're going to Swords Dance against the starter. But, since we can survive a turn... We're going to use Spore, because Spore will put the target to sleep. Now, he might be smart and switch out after we Spore, because you don't want a Dancing Breloom. But even if he does, we'll Spore him, get one Swords Dance off when he, uh, you know, switches out. We'll be able to get either, well, I guess we can't Spore again, but we can get another Swords Dance off to take the Focus Sash hit. And then we have a times 3 Technician Mock Punch going into business, which... Might not kill everything on the team, but it'll kill a lot of it. Um, I don't see a ton of crazy tanks. I believe um, Torkoal would completely take a Mach Punch, but I imagine that might be the first Pokemon, and Rock Tomb should do the trick against that, being super effective. 
Also, Charizard will probably resist Mach Punch, so I'm just probably going to be safe and use... And between these two moves, we should be able to do some crazy stuff. Now, the thing I'm worried about is the Infernape uh, coming out and Mach Punching me, but we have the Focus Sash, so hopefully we'll be able to keep it you know, active for a long time, and this is going to be a real hit or miss. I am gambling so hard with this strategy. I mean, I guess, worst case scenario, Breloom dies, it fails, and then I just have five Pokemon to roll out with, which means next choice would probably be Cradley, set up some Stealth Rocks, and then just try to win like I did last time, which almost worked. So, I think we'll be okay. Sceptile is extremely powerful. We're going extremely offensive, because that's the only way to take out a team that completely counters you. So, I think we're gonna... Last time I said it was like a 50-50 chance. I'm going to give myself like a 65-75% chance. I guess that's called a 70 if you want to average it out. But I I'm feeling good about this. Now, when it comes down to the uh, other side of this, normal versus flying, Mario versus Panda. Unfortunately, I don't think normal has what it takes to beat a flying team. So that means in the final battle, if we do win this, we still might have to fight flying. But I'm going to cheer for Mario on this one. Just so if, you know because I feel like I can beat normal types with all my fighting guys with Breloom once again. Let's see if Breloom can become MVP this battle. Let's head out there, and let's battle. And here we have the finals for Pokemon Fight Club. With four people left, I have to fight Fire-type again. <laughs> <laughs> this again. <sighs> this again. Well, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Oh, you excited for this? I'm not... I don't know. After the second, yeah, we know I have a chance. Last time. Yeah, but it's still fire versus grass. It is. All right, we're gambling here. Okay. Your boy mm. Torkoal came out. It did. Nap time. Oh, okay. Woo! All right, that's something. I can mess around with that. Let's dance. Ah. Let's dance. I see. That's where we're going. Hey, you want to let him dance? What's going on? Ah, you do. I do. All right, come on. I got to kill him real fast. I don't think I can one shot a Torkoal even with three times attack, but it'll be close. Okay. No, you can. All right, Brelum, sweep the entire team. Go. Probably will. Not he has insane attack uh, right now, I, but... Yeah. My team's quite speedy, so... Yeah. It's whether I can one-shot it. <laughs> uh-huh. That's also what I was oh, man. I feel the heart pumping and everything, because, like, I was thinking, like, last time the Stealth Rocks really came through for me, I decided to go with this, because it's a different chance of things going my way. Yeah, yeah, true. Um, okay, we're gonna... What is he gonna have? Oh, this is a gamble and a half, but you know what? No, we're just gonna go with this. Woo! Oh, wow, okay. Priority Fair move. Enough. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, man, I can't believe I might sweep you here. You probably will, not gonna lie. There's a legitimate oh. chance of it. Oh. Um. All right, this is one of the ones I was worried about. However, I think I'm still going to need to mock punch. Because you're definitely faster. Okay. Yeah, I think it's a sweep. Yeah. I think so. Because I don't have anything. That's one thing with the fire types. There aren't many tanky ones. No. Alright, Charizard. I, since he's part flying type, he'll resist fighting. So I don't think I can one-shot him. But... I got something else planned. Well, you probably will. <laughs> my, my, I have like a super villain mind for this fight. Focus Sash. Yeah. So even, even though. Uh huh. Yeah. And unless this guy's packing a mock punch. Oh, he Which is. He is. <laughs> well, I could have fixed that a while ago. All right, but the sun's Which down. He is. The uh. Let's see, fighting, so I shouldn't send down my Cradley. I actually don't have a ghost to counter him. I forgot why I didn't bring him this time, but that's that. And let's see. Oh, let's yeah. go with, uh, I guess I want to use 
Let's use Roserade. I switched out. I uh, love this thing. Yeah. I love Roserade. It's yeah, I switched out the uh, whatever. The, I don't know, ghost thing I had last time for Roserade because it has this. Boop. Oh my goodness, that's not good. That's not good. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna try this out. Oh, come on, this is gonna hurt. Ow, nope, ow. Should love okay. it though. That rock. Yeah, still hurt though. That rock sturdiness. Can yeah, that quiver dance is what I was afraid of. Oh man, it's not over yet. Nope. All right, you shouldn't have done that. Yeah, I was expecting it. Yeah. I don't think I'd have killed you anyway. No, you would have, cause like, Oh, actually, no, the Z-move is insanely powerful, so I guess you might not have something Yeah. It. Would it be yeah. in grass? Yeah. I don't yeah. think... Oh, I think bug... No, bug's probably neutral. Everything um, I have on him's neutral. Yeah. But I did have my guy set up as a physical defense tank, so... You never right. know. This guy will probably be able to take... Oh, no. Nope. See, this is why I had to set him up as a physical defense tank, so we could take out this guy. Oh, not that it's... Yeah. Not that the damage is much to cry about, but <laughs> yeah, the rest of the team should have it. I lowered your speed. Huh. You're using a scarf again, aren't you? Uh, I am, actually. Yeah, because I realized you used that mock punch last time, then you switched out real quick. Uh, let's see, what's your base speed? Okay, so you're just going to outspeed everything I have, um, but with close combat, I can resist it well enough, probably. Shaman can take a hit, sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. Oh, no, I did it. sped anyway. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I got a scarf on this guy. And timid nature, probably, so. Ah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That went well. It did. Yeah, <laughs> that Brelu mastermind. I was like, oh, he's going to think I'm going to set up the stealth rocks again. I'm just going to use that uh, no. as a decoy. I'm not even going to touch the stealth rocks unless it comes up. And then, yeah, yep. Brelu had a pretty good chance there. So. He sure did. Yeah, well. I guess that's that. I'm moving on to the uh, championship. Indeed. All right. Well, thank you for the battle, sir. Hopefully, no you've problem. all enjoyed this epic five versus grass duel of Yu-Gi-Oh. No, not Yu-Gi-Oh. Pokemon Fight Club. <laughs> I play too much Yu-Gi-Oh. It's too much. Testing yeah. my brain. Um, but if you guys have enjoyed it, of course, go over to Rockstar's channel and check that out. Hit the like button. Subscribe to everybody, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.